So um, I'm gonna demonstrate the sunset with the moon and how to get started. You're gonna be using watercolor paper. It's actually thicker paper. Um, you want a pretty big brush, not super big, but um, a large brush, maybe a smaller one to go around your moon to be careful on areas that you wanna stay away from. Um, on whether you're doing the sunset, whether you're doing the moon, they're all kind of the same concept. You're gonna start wet and you wanna cover your whole entire paper with water. Stay away from your moon. I'm gonna go back around with water in just a second. So the sunset with the moon, where the moon, because it's dark, it's night, is going to be blues and purples and the sunset colors down at the bottom are gonna be your reds, your pinks, your yellows. So you're gonna get it all wet first. The paper is gonna bend a little bit, that's normal. And that's okay if it does that. I am staying away from my moon. If you want to grab a little bit of pigment so you can make sure that you're not getting any color in your moon, you can do that, absolutely. But I do not want water anywhere near the inside of my moon because I'm gonna paint that later. So I'm gonna stay away from that, but I'm gonna get the color all the way up there. Okay, so rinse it off the brush. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna start with yellow and oranges at the bottom. These paint palettes, they need to stay clean. So when you change colors, you'll notice that I'm gonna rinse my brush out really well. I'm gonna start at the bottom with some yellow. And you wanna do this fairly quickly. going to add in some orange. You do want your sunsets to be bright, so you want to add a little bit more pigment to your water. So you want to start with yellow, mix in your orange, the wet. You don't want it to puddle too much, but you want it to be wet. Okay, from there, I'm going to do a pink color. Mixing it into my orange just a little bit. And then I'm going to change to purple and then I'm going to go to blue near my moon. If you're doing all night sky, will you just stay with purple and like the blues like the whole time? Yeah. So you want to look at the example if you're going to do night sky and you'll look at the colors that's in the example and try to get it as close as possible. Okay, now I'm going to change to blue. That was the blue I used earlier. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and um, add more pigment in everywhere to kind of make it more interesting. I'll show you how to do that. Right now I'm just laying down kind of a base color. Again, stay away from your moon. All right, so now what I wanna do is kinda of add colors like within the other colors. So I'm gonna take my orange. I rinsed off my brush. If your water gets real dirty, you'll have to change it. And I'm just gonna add kind of areas of pigment. They'll blend out, they look weird at first but they'll kind of blend in. I'm gonna take some of my pink. 
Put a little bit down there in your orange. Take some of my purple, do the same thing. Now, I don't want it to be splotchy, so you can go in with another brush and kind of blend them out a little bit. So it doesn't look like paint splatters. Again, you don't want it to puddle. But I want it to kind of look like hazy, like clouds. So that's why I'm adding in more color. So now I need to do purple. On top of the blue a little bit. Down here in the pink. Probably up here in my blue a little bit. Go in, kind of blend it out. Now we'll do some blue. If you'll notice, I'm working pretty fast because I don't want my paint to dry and that's when it won't blend out if it gets too dry. And if I have a dry spot, I'm just gonna add more water in. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and that's how to do it. That's your background.